All right, guys, so what's up? Look at the difference. I know it's been a while since you guys see me, but anyway, we're gonna start off with the Morphe spoolie. I'm gonna be brushing her hair and then taking the ALF eyebrow kit in medium. And this one's like a pomade. You can find this at any local Walmart. So I'm gonna start filling it in. Her eyebrows already are pretty full, but I'm just gonna enhance them a little bit more with the pomade from ELF. Then we're going to be going in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Concealer in 1.5. And I'm going to be using the map, the Morphe 1 M M165 flat brush to carve out those eyebrows and make them fierce. And yeah, guys, so you just want to carve it under the brow. So what this is going to do is going to appear to be a snatch brow guys so that's why we are going to carve these babies out then i'm going to take the morphe dual fiber brush this is m461 and i'm going to be blending out that concealer just so it doesn't look too harsh under her eyebrow and then i'm going to be taking the anastasia beverly hills clear brow gel just to set those eyebrows and make sure that they don't move throughout the day then i'm going to be taking the max soft ochre paint pot as an eyeshadow base and putting that onto my eye, not my eye, but her eye. And what do you know? What palette is it? <laughs> the Shadow Couture palette. Don't worry guys, I'm gonna start using other palettes. It's just, this palette is my favorite. <laughs> Anyway, I'm going to be taking that Morocco shade with the Morphe M441 blending brush and I'm going to be enhancing her crease. As you guys can see, she does have a nice eye for makeup and her crease is big. So that's why I love doing makeup on her. And all I'm doing is using windshield wiper motions to blend. And then I'm going to be taking this Morphe M507, it's just a more detailed precision brush, and I'm going to be deepening that crease even more, and then going ahead and blending. And we're going to take that same detailed brush and use the fudge color just to deepen it even, even, even more. And the key to this is to blend and blend. Then I'm taking my M511, and this is just a bigger blending brush from Morphe, and I'm just going to be blending. So this is the NYX Pigment in Pearl. So I'm going to be putting that on the back of my hand, just like that. And I'm going to be putting some Inglot Duraline. What this is going to do is it's going to turn the pigment into a liquid, as you can see right here. And you can see right now when it reflect, reflects. There you go. So I turned that pigment into the liquid and I'm going to be putting that on her lid and I'm going to be using this as a base. This color is beautiful guys and it's so inexpensive. And yeah, I'm kind of do like a semi cut crease then I'm going to be taking that next pigment that same pigment and I'm going to be popping it on to that base that we put it's just the reason why I know it's the same pigment and it's the same base but when you use this as a liquid it makes the pigment even pop even more because the pigment by itself it kind of falls so that's why I like to turn it into a liquid then I'm going to be taking the tardiest clay liner and I'm be just doing a thin line just to hide those lashes when I do go and put some false lashes.
And the last two that I am going to be using are the Baby is Made Grand Glamour. And I'm going to pop those babies on to her eyeballs. And the reason why, guys, I've been MIA is because I do have a full-time job now. So I do work at Plaza Bonita Mall, which is here located in San Diego. And I work inside the Macy's at Impulse Beauty. So come say hi if you're ever in the area. And then this is the L'Oreal Eyeshadow 997 Sunshine. I'm going to be putting that into her inner corners of her eye just to add a pop of color. And then I'm going to be taking the Anastasia Illuminator Starlight, which was the limited edition one. So I'm going to be taking that color and popping it in on top of that sunshine color from L'Oreal. And you're going to see that it's going to make it pop even more. And then we're going to be taking it on to the brow bone in a second. Just to make the brow bone pop as well. Because if the inner corner is popping, I like to make the brow bone pop as well. And then we're going to be taking our blending brush and just blending the top just so that way it doesn't look too harsh. And then I'm taking the Mario Badescu Rose Water and I applied that first. And then I'm going in with the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Shade 105. Taking my damp beauty blender and I'm going to be blending this foundation out. I love this foundation for oily people. Um, actually, even matte, um, matte people, <laughs> even dry people can use this. Um, I'm really dry, and but I use a hydrating primer underneath, and I'm, I'm fine. It doesn't crack on me or anything. So don't be scared. You just have to play with it. And you guys, I didn't change the speed just so you that way you guys can see how I blend and how long it takes me to blend I didn't want to fast forward and then you guys think yo it's that fast anyway guys so yeah you guys should come visit me at my work in San Diego I'll leave it down below if you guys want to come meet me or say hi or even get some makeup we have a lot of brands it's kind of like a mini sephora in a way but yeah i'll leave it down below then i'm taking the anastasia concealer in shade 6.0 to bronze and contour i like to use this because it's gonna leave the coverage there and when i find that i try to contour with other products it takes away my coverage which I don't want and this concealer is a full coverage so that's why I love to use this one as a contour And you guys just want to blend, 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 blend. As you can see, this concealer is just bronzing her up and contouring at the same time. I didn't want to go too harsh with the contour because I can do that with the powder. But I just wanted this um, concealer just to bronze her more than contour. I just love how it bronzes and it gives such a flawless look. Then we're going to take the same concealer, just a different shade, and 1.5 to highlight under her eyes, down the bridge of the nose, the center of the forehead, and the chin.
sorry if I sound like a creeper guys but it's because people are sleeping in my house and I don't want to be too loud and we want this highlight to come through so come through highlight Then we're going to be going in with the Laura Mercier setting powder and translucent, which everybody loves this powder anyway. So I'm going to be blending it under her eye, just basic, basically baking her face. And you just want to tap and bounce that beauty blender on top because if you put too much pressure, sometimes it could go on a little cakey. That's why I like to use a light hand with it and make sure and making sure that I don't press too hard on it. So then I'm going to take the Morphe M527 brush and I'm just using this one just to dust all around her perimeter of her face. All the areas I basically didn't put that setting powder. I'm just going to be putting a light coat of that powder. Then I'm going to be taking the Too Faced bronzer in medium deep which smells beautiful and then I'm going to be using my MAC. 135 brush for that to just sculpt and bronze up even more than I want. I really love this MAC brush guys. I really do love it because it, I can contour and bronze at the same time because the bristles on the brush are not too fat and fluffy. They're just so dense and perfect. I love this brush. You guys need to go get it. It's a little pricey, it's about like $30, but it's worth it. Come through contour. <laughs> Get under that chin. <laughs> so then I'm going to be taking the L'Oreal eyeshadow again, the one that we use in the inner corner as her highlight. And look how beautiful this is going to look, guys. You guys need astronauts can see us from outer space yes 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 come to highlight look how beautiful this is anyway i'm using my morphe m510 yes highlight yes highlight yes Come through, please. Show me the way to life. <laughs> now, after this, I'm going to be setting with my Mario Badescu Rose Water. And then taking the Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipstick in Pure Hollywood. And then that's pretty much it, guys. That's pretty much it. That's all I do. I just add this Pure Hollywood, which is just a nude, pinky nude shade. I love it on this girl right here. It looks really beautiful. That's pretty much the last step of the tutorial. We're going to allow this to get matte, and then we'll be back to show you the ending result. Look how beautiful it looks. Anyway, please like, comment, and subscribe if you're not subscribed to my channel. 